not only here on the West Fork River, um, we are also now going to send it over to Jonathan Mejia, my colleague. He's been in Kingwood here for several hours talking to residents, get an understanding of what they're seeing because they are directly impacted by this as well. Jonathan. Yeah, that's right, Anthony. The Kingwood area has been hit by the rainfall that has hit this area all day. I've seen several cars stalled. I've seen homes underwater. I've seen streets flooded. Go ahead and take a look at this area completely underwater. This seems what it looks like to me was a park. I see a couple uh, things going on around here, a couple, you know, woods flowing around here. Now, there's also homes in this area, but again, it's completely flooded. And then with residents that I spoke here in the Kingwood area, they're telling me that this is reminiscent of Hurricane Harvey. They say it may not be to that level, but it is why they are looking to leave now that they can and evacuate their homes so that they're not stuck in a life-threatening situation. Due to Harvey, <laughs> it, it kind of scared me, so um, don't want to have a, another issue like that again to where just, you know, a lot of trauma there, you know? <laughs> so it's kind of want to stay away from all that. Like Andrew Coleman, several Kingwood residents are leaving their homes to avoid being in a life-threatening situation from dangerous rain levels. To avoid these issues, I kind of want to get out as fast as possible and avoid a potentially worse issue compared to what it is now. Houston Mayor John Whitmire says the city of Houston is standing by and prepared for what's to come as they have first responders, rescue boats, and divers on standby. Monitoring of circumstances, but at this point, we're kind of at the mercy of the weather, but we're doing everything we can possible. Earlier today, Fox 26 witnessed two people stuck inside their cars as streets were flooded. One left his home as he had to go to the hospital to get blood work done, and another was checking up on property. Looked at Google Maps and it said that this was a dry road, so it lied to me. Just driving up the streets uh, to a property I just purchased to meet with a contractor, and um, just the car stalled out. Mayor John Whitmire says the worst is yet to come as more rain is expected to fall tonight and into the weekend. So this area will continue to see damage by the rain. Anthony. All right, Jonathan, thank you so much. And those of you living in Kingwood, again, the message here is to either leave or stay in place and be prepared to be in your home for at least two to three days. But that's not only the warning for Kingwood. If you are in the Kings Point, Atascacita area, um, that and you're north, near the east or west end, you're also being asked to evacuate. And also Rio Villa, farther south of Lake Houston, there's only one way in and one way out of that community. That is Wallaceville Road, and that will be underwater as well. So you're being asked to leave before sundown tomorrow. Schools, please pay close attention to your local school districts and getting the information you need. We are also going to be populating our website with information about school closures, but heed that warning because schools could be impacted for tomorrow as well.